Hi guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddy Family Farm. Well, this morning, it's well, I guess it's kind of midday, but we want to go around and check on the fencing. Um, earlier this morning, it was kind of like a 5,000 to 6,000 volt, and we want it to be the max just to make sure we can keep all of our livestock inside the pen and just, you know, how it's supposed to be. But before we get to that, this video is gonna be sponsored by Timu, and we're gonna go look at a few products in just a minute. But first, we're gonna check this fence out and kinda make sure everything's good and not touching. And hey, we're not gonna touch it right now because it's pretty, it's pretty hot. <laughs> All right, so obviously, when the fence is off, when we're actually inside checking on the animals and the kids. Right here, you can see this is llama fur or hair. I don't know what you really call it. Woo! Skittles? Woo! <laughs> we got a fight going on. Let's see who's, who's, who's better at it. You know, they gotta, they gotta find their territory. But this is llama fur right here. They come up and I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be doing it when this is actually hot, but they do it when we turn off the fence and go inside and feed or whatever. But the llamas, they come up and rub on it. But we're gonna finish check-in and everything. Um, hey girls. No? Look at this baby. Come here, Spice. I think we do need to find another name for her. Yeah. But um, yeah, we just wanna make sure that there's no tree limbs or anything because these goats and llamas, you never know what they're gonna be bringing in, even the dogs. So we're just walking it and it looks good from here. It looks really good. There's a bunch of turtles. Oh, that one just jumped off. <laughs> there's a bunch of turtles still in the pond and they're the like, I'm pretty sure they're the snapping turtles because they are the really big ones. Oh, he's going under right now. Did you get him? There's this one right here coming up though. And there's two in the distance. There's so many turtles. I don't think we could ever get rid of them. Yeah, we've tried to get them so many times in this trap, but we, as fast as we trap them, they show back up. Exactly, but yeah had to put another string of or another strand of wire because the goats like to go to our neighbors you know you know that saying the grass is greener on the other side well I'm pretty sure the goats think the same thing because they like it over in our neighbor's yard right here so we put up another strand well Brandon did yesterday and we have a full line. So hopefully that will keep them in. If not, we may have to go and give a, get a couple different strands. But I don't know. What are y'all following us for? Huh? It's not dinner time. About another hour or two. But we're gonna get over here and open up a few packages. All right guys, so like I said earlier, this video is sponsored by Timu, and I'm super excited to get to show y'all what we purchased on um, the site. We actually use the app, which is something that I like. I love it when there's an app to the site. It's just a little bit easier to just get to it. So what do we want to start with? I have no clue. What all did you order here? Well, I got some pretty nifty stuff. This um, looks pretty neat there. Yeah, I got... Oh, that's like a cow skin. Is this a blanket? Yep, this is a blanket. I think I ended up getting three blankets oh, because wow. I figured we have a vacation coming up and these are kind of the perfect size for in the car. Yeah, but that's pretty. I love it. It's super soft. And the kids are always, they're always wanting a blanket while we're riding together and they're fighting over each other's blanket and... I figured we have plenty of blankets, but get some new ones that specifically for them. This is one is a blanket for the boys. Oh, wow. And it says. Wow, that's beautiful. It says, to my son, never forget that I love you. Every day may not be good, but find something good in every day. 
laugh, love, live. Follow your dreams, believe in yourself. I'll make it go down. I can't promise to be here for the rest of your life, but I can promise to love you for the rest of mine. I didn't give you the gift of life. Life gave me the gift of you. Love your mom. Oh, that's pretty neat. I really like that. But we decided, I decided to go ahead and get um, the boys one. And then I also got, this is the girls. Um, we might have to, you have a knife on you? My goodness, how many lots did you, or blankets did you get? Well, I couldn't get the boys one and not the girls. And then I just loved the cowhide one. It goes this way. Oh, wow. And this one is to my daughter. Over, or never feel that you are alone, no matter how near or far apart i am always right there in your heart whenever you feel overwhelmed remember whose daughter you are and straighten your and straighten your crown always remember you are braver than you think stronger than you seem and love more than you know i will always be with you you will always be my baby girl love mom oh wow that's awesome i just Good I'm a blanket Lord. person. This is actually, I thought it was pretty neat. It goes like over your plate, like I'll cook dinner. Oh. And then this will go over it and keep the flies out. Well, look, I trapped a fly. It can be a fly trapper. Yeah, but it won't, You, we well, don't have to worry about the flies. You should have got more of them out here. It's a beautiful shirt too. There's that. Um, let me tell you about my Jesus. I thought that was really pretty. And then the, like the turquoise color in it just makes it even better. But. Good Lord, there's a bunch of stuff. There is a bunch. I fell in love with Timu. I don't know if you can tell or not. Just a small town girl. I just love the colors. All right. Got some that shovels. Was, that was the more like want not the really need stuff. This is more stuff that I needed, but. Oh, that'll work out perfect in yeah, the garden. Yeah, for the garden, we got your rake. You got two handles, or handles, two shovels with handles. And then you got your little pick tool. Kind of, you could pick out whatever. All right, there's that. Here's a raised bed. I plan on using this for our, um, our carrots because you have to have more of a sandy area for carrots, or that's what I've learned. But you go right here and it's just little, it's like, it feels oh, wow. like a tarp, but you have six areas and then you just put your stuff in it and you raise your carrots but you can raise anything i know a lot of people do to make or a lot of people do potatoes in raised beds you can use those as well looks like you got this could have went good on the way to the expo i know i actually got two different kinds oh these are for your phones yes it's this one is the one that you can just put it on your dash. Just a phone mount for the dash. And then, oops. This one actually goes on your rear view mirror. Okay, yeah. So pretty, it's pretty similar to. Oh, these solar lights? Mm-hmm. These are just clip-on lights. These are really cool solar lights, but I figured we could actually put those in between the barn and the camper because we walk to there to take showers or laundry or anything at nighttime. Oh, that's to comb the horses. Yes. That's awesome. Got a horse brush too. Yep. These are... We can actually use that on uh, Dixie. Yeah, these are really good is what I've heard. Okay. Everything I, I hear, so I'm going to be trying all this stuff out. I have a magnet that you actually hook to your phone also. It will hook to the, your car wherever you need it to go. 
This is actually, you'll peel this tape back and you can actually mount it to the side of anywhere and you can put your phone or gum or anything. It's just like a little pocket, an extra pocket for your vehicle. And then a strainer for, you know, you hook it right there on your sink and you strain any kind of noodles or pasta or anything you need. Wow, that's awesome. And that was pretty much it on that. We got all of this stuff at a super affordable price. They were amazing to deal with. And what I see here, they look like they have very good quality, very high quality. And they're, when you look at the site, there's multiple categories that you can go down and it's super, it's super easy to actually find what you need. There are amazing coupons that you can get different coupons with different items. Right now, there is a statewide sale with savings up to 90%. Not only that, there's free shipping and free returns up to 90 days. So I will encourage you to download the app through our link or the code in the description box and you will get a $100 coupon for free. So we're gonna get back to it and I'm gonna go get the kids and we're going to look at the puppies. Brandon made a new box um, just for the puppies. They didn't absolutely need it because they, I mean, they were doing really good and they're getting super fat, but he went ahead and made one to kind of give them a little bit more cushion and everything. Well, and we I got a lot of rain them. coming too. We yeah. got a lot of rain. So I just want to make sure that they're going to be off the ground. Uh, like she said is, um, you know, the, the Great Pyrenees are livestock guardian dogs. They're mm -hmm. not your typical in-house dog. So a lot of people, you know, uh, give us grief, you know, they're laying on the ground. Well, we tried to put them on stuff and they, she took them outside and we'd have to take them back in. So um, we're trying this out. We're gonna watch her really, really close. And uh, if she starts taking them out, obviously we'll have to take the box out. So let's yeah. go over there and take a look at it. Yeah, Dixie knows where she wants her puppies. Yeah. <laughs> And just so y'all know, the fence is actually off right now. Just because we're outside, um, we went ahead and turned off the fence, and so it's not, it's not shocking me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go check on the puppies. Yeah. What are you doing with your shirt on backwards, dude? You act like your mama dressed you. Oh, they're calling for mama because mama's not in here. Mama's not in there. Yep. What is it, guys? Are y'all hungry? Huh? Y'all can't be hungry. Look at them fat bellies. So what I did is I just took some of that old scrap wood we got and I just built it four by four to give her plenty room. Um, she was in there earlier, um, so hopefully she's out taking a break and she's going to come back. So. Yeah. Um, Typically, typically with this time of the year, um, the ticks and fleas are bad. So what we're going to be doing here in just a few minutes, we're going to go get some water and put some dis Dawn dish water soap in it. And we're going to wash the puppies off real good in it. That way it keeps the ticks and fleas off of them. It, so they don't, I mean, if they do have ticks and fleas, it'll keep them off. So yeah. we're going to go get a bucket and we will be back with some of that. And uh, we'll show you how we're going to do it. <laughs> You're looking at me. Look at him. He's so pretty. <laughs> Got that puppy breath. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go get that so we wash them. All right. All right, guys, so uh, as you know, we're out here in the shop. Um, we went to try to get one of our old air conditioners put in here and see if it would actually work, but it wouldn't. So we went ahead and put some air hose in. Ooh. <laughs> the nail's a little sharp. But we put some little air hose in here so there is uh, some airflow that goes through. But, um, you know, beans we live out here, you know, ticks and fleas are really bad. Um, you know, that's the reason why we want guineas and chickens to run loose, but obviously there's a bunch. You know, this is our first year on the property. So what we're going to do with these puppies, it ain't saying they got ticks or fleas really bad. We just want to get give them a dawn bath 
Um, that way it will prevent them from coming getting on them and stuff. Now the dogs, we've already put some stuff behind their neck. Um, so that should be helping, but the puppies, we can't quite do that yet. So we're going to go ahead and um, do it now. Are you picking them too or just? No, we're going to dip them and kind of wash them off. I know, I know, I'm washing. Well, I guess we got to have, have some clean water too, don't we? Steph? Um, maybe. So I guess go get a, another... Uh, get that blue bucket. Or just bring the water hose over here. You think? Yeah. Just set it right there. I just want to make sure they don't have ticks and fleas on them. Um, like I said, we do Give live out here in hose. the country, but we want to take really good care of these babies. This is a baby boy. Yeah, there's a... That's crazy that there is a flea, but um, this Dawn, with this Dawn dishwater soap, it's actually already leaving them. Uh, yeah, I'm cleaning, I'm cleaning it off for you, okay? Thank you. I'm trying to protect them, all right? That's your baby. Will you That's your baby. In a second, turn it on. We're just trying to take really good care of it, okay? It's your baby. Oh, that's good. That's good. It ain't real cold on them. No, it's kind of getting hotter though. Come on, water hose. Get, get cooler. I'm gonna have to have a shower before after this. There was a, fle a few t uh, fleas on them. Oh, their hair is so soft. Will the will these other fleas fall off? I don't know. Hopefully, she takes them. I'm gonna sit it right here. Uh-uh. Hey, we can't do that. She's taking the puppies now. Here, come and wrench it off. It's okay. It's okay. No, come here. It's okay. I knew she would. Come here. Here. Come here, Dixie. Madison, come here. Dixie, come here. All right, leave them alone. Way. Come on. Here, Dixie. Come on. It's okay. Turn it off. That's okay. Well, that was, that's not good. Listen up, baby. All right, well, Brandon is actually leaving right now. He is going to run up to the vet because we were told from a few people to try Dawn dish soap and um, kind of rinse them off really good and do it that way. But Dixie did not like that at all. She was not very happy with um, us washing her babies. I think it was, I mean, she's a first time mama and everything and she's just worried about her or all the puppies. But we called um, Brandon's uncle because he does a lot with dogs and animals and he just knows a lot. And so we decided to call him and see what his take on it. He doesn't generally, you can't really do a lot with puppies because they're babies and you know, um, there's not, you can't give them a pill or nothing like that. But he did give us some, um, what he uses on, his dogs, his bigger dogs, and he uses, I think he called it Bervecto. But so Brandon went actually to the vet right now. He's gonna go and see what kind of medicine they have, if they have that kind of medicine, and go ahead and get them their fleas and ticks treated. Obviously you can't really do nothing with babies, but he did mention that 
um, Dixie was probably really nervous and worried that we were doing and putting a different scent on these babies. Hey, sister girl. So that's probably why she ended up t picking up one of the puppies and taking it off while she was probably hiding, trying to hide her puppies from us because she thought we was taking off with them or doing something. And that's not what we was doing. No, we was trying to get, take care of them babies. We was trying to help you because you're such a good mama. You are, you're such a good mama. But that's what Brandon's gonna do. Um, but while he's gone, there's nothing much for me to do inside there. So I'm gonna just take y'all and we can go drive around the ponds and we haven't done that in a while. So I figured that'd be something good to do. I made it to the side by side. I had to cool down the side by side seat a little bit. It was pretty hot. That's something we're learning um, now that we have different vehicles and stuff. If you don't want it to be hot, park it in the shade. Uh, we're gonna go down here, but this grass is getting high already. It's already time to shave it down, but we got things to be um, doing all the time. So it's a little bit difficult and I'm watching for snakes, but it's pretty cloudy and it's super gross looking. I don't know really why, maybe because of the heat but oh, it looks like Brandon's back now. I took a little bit too long, I guess. All right, but look at it. Super snaky, kind of scary. There's some of that concrete. <laughs> but look how gross that looks. I don't know what the deal is. There is a lot of water in that pond though. I know Brandon, he gets really excited when he's on the um, lawn mower. He likes to mow. It's a little peace and quiet. Go see what kind, what kind of medicine he got. We're gonna park this right here in this shade. So he's back with some medicine. You know, I did park it in the shade, <laughs> but he's back with some medicine. So we're gonna go see what kind he found. Well, they didn't have the kind that um, Uncle Tracy was saying, but they had this here. They said this is really good. Um, Credelio? Yeah, so basically it's it's um, it's a uh, every month. Um, so what I did is um, every month the dog's got to have it. So it's going to be super expensive because it's uh, one hundred and forty-three dollars per dog per month. Yeah. No, no, not not per month. For six months. That's six months. There's six oh, pills. Okay. Six pills in here. And it will be $143, so basically... So that's two doses, because we have three dogs. Yeah, this is two doses for two months. So in two more months, we'll go back and get another box for two more months. And then hopefully we get out of that season. Um, they said it's some really good stuff. I don't know. What do y'all... Have y'all ever used it, heard anything about it? Please pick monthly dose, give with So they, they did say that... Um, with the puppies, um, there's nothing we can do with the puppies but dip them in Dawn dishwater soap and wash them. And I said, well, the mama's trying to take off with them and uh, it's just one of those deals we may have to pin her up. We may just have to go slow with it. I, I don't know, but we're not going to let the little uh, puppies, you know, go without, but obviously I don't want the mama to carry them off. So let's go in there and see if they're still here. Yeah, so what I'm thinking is we will lock up mama in the barn because Brandon did, and you'll see it again, he pokes some holes in to kind of um, put vent holes pretty much in the place. And I think we'll lock her up in there with them and also go ahead and do the Dawn dish soap baths inside there so that she can't take them away, but she knows we're not doing anything with them either. Come on, mama. Well, we just now 
We just finished giving all the puppies their Dawn dish soap bath. Uh, Mama has been in here and actually feeding them and stuff and licking them off and stuff. Um, she's, I think you can see her, but she's over here. Come here, Dixie. She's a good mama. Come here, mama. I'm not your mama. What are you coming over here for? But we, we're just keeping an eye on her. Um, just to make sure she stays in here. Dixie girl. Come here. They want you. It's so pretty, their eyes are open. Yeah, they're so, so stinking cute. Oh, that one's sucking on that one's ear. Yeah. That's crazy. Alrighty, guys. Well, this has been a very adventurous video, adventurous day. But we got these settled down. And now it's time to go find the kids again, um, see what they're up to. I think they were in the house watch TV. I don't know. It's, it's pretty it's pretty warm day anyways. But that's pretty much all we're going to do for this video. So I hope you all really enjoyed it. I hope it was kind of educational as it was for us. So go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Turn the notification bell on and subscribe.